Good morning guys. Uh, today, uh, this is our topic for our primary and secondary data. So, uh, let's start with the primary data because uh, we are already starting with the methodology. So, that's why uh, we are dealing now uh, with how uh, how we will understand the uh, scenario between the primary data and the secondary data. So, primary data, when we say primary data, it's more on the analytic tools or the uh, statistical tools that we are uh, that uh, we are needed uh, in order for us to deliberate the uh, what happened with our uh, with our research. So here uh, we are going to use uh, different stat tools in order for us to provide the real data. So as for example, uh, we already uh, tackle or uh, I already given to you the modules for the mean, median, and mode. Uh, we're in uh, those uh, statistical tool tools are the basic things needed in order to produce a certain variance or standard deviation whenever uh, one of your questionnaire is needed for that application. And um, for the frequency and percentage, uh, that definitely means that uh, we... Uh, we really needed uh, the frequency and percentage portion because uh, we have to deal with the computation uh, of the uh, questionnaire 1 and 2. Wherein, uh, we are going to get uh, how the demographic profile or the business profile are needed for us to, uh, to know what happened with this uh, different profile. So, with that particular um, status, which is the basic, the frequency and percentage, uh, it is really needed in order for us to inculcate what happened to that certain demographic profile or business profile. For example, uh, in terms of age, gender, uh, in terms of, uh, for example, capital, so uh, you will def definitely know uh, what will have, uh, what will be the percentage or the frequency or of percentage of a certain of a certain um of a certain questionnaire for example uh, you are dealing with the age of the lgbtq uh for five years so with that frequency and percentage you will easily determine what happened uh, to the lgbtq group for example um you are dealing with the business profile of different uh of different entrepreneurship or small medium uh a small medium enterprise wherein uh, you have different uh, questionnaire or set of questionnaire for example uh, uh, wherein uh, who will who are the business or what particular business does have uh, zero to ten thousand capital or uh, they started with that particular capital from ten thousand one up to twenty thousand capital from 20,000 to 50,000 capital, from 50,000 to 100,000 capital, and so on and so forth. So, with this particular uh, statistical tools, you will easily determine uh, uh, what will be the what will be a certain uh, result from this matter. Okay, so different things like um, questionnaire three and four, for example, uh, you are going to determine the factors, the effect, or the impact. Uh, of the questionnaires that you are given uh, uh, together with the respondent, uh, you can use different uh, statistical tools such as uh, you can use uh, analysis of variance or ANOVA and or you can use different things. So with that different things, uh, you can compute that by means of uh, computing first the, the mean the mean of the uh, of the uh, questionnaire and then you're going to produce this variance and standard division then after that that's the time that you are going to to get uh, certain uh, statistical treatment that are needed for the study uh, in that way uh, your statistician will help you to determine that and that's all with the primary data what about with the secondary data with the secondary data it is already given meaning to say uh, the documents are already provided to you 
So, when we say secondary data, it means that uh, you have already books, you have already journals, or already established books and journals that are given to you as part of your related lit and wherein you can get information uh, for that particular uh, scenario or for that particular problem in order for you to know um, what will be the what will be the consequence uh, or uh, you will barely determine uh, uh, if, if these things are readily available or not or if you are going to search another things or not so uh, you can use this secondary data and uh, with regards to the when you are dealing with the financial performance of the company for example you want to study the financial performance of Pepsi Cola and Coca Cola company. Uh, uh, in this way, you need secondary data like financial statement. And with that financial statement, um, uh, you cannot you can get it at once. For example, you cannot ask the Pepsi Cola to to give you a certain uh, financial data. In that way. Um, uh, you you can easily get this document through going to the Securities and Exchange Commission in order for you to get the annual data or the annual financial uh, data of these companies. Uh, another example, uh, you would like to know the financial statement of a certain cooperative. So because uh, you are looking for a cooperative business, you cannot see it on the Securities and Exchange Commission. Instead, you need to go to the cooperative sec sector or here in Cavite, we have the Pisiledo. Wherein uh, Pisiledo is located in Trece Martires. So, if you are going to uh, to, do, to know the financial statement of the SMEs, uh, the, the small medium enterprise, wherein uh, you cannot locate it to the Securities and Exchange Commission, then you need to go to Pisiledo. Okay? Uh, or you you want to know the uh, what, what are the cooperatives here in Cavite. So, you need to look for the um, for the cooperative sector or, or cooperative offices wherein uh, they can give you the idea of how they will get their um, annual data or the annual financial data. So, it's different thing. But, more or less, when you are looking for the financial statement of a certain corporation, then you can easily go to the Securities uh, and Exchange Commission uh, which is located in uh, Ortigas. So, SEC is located in Ortigas. Uh, they will give you PIN. Uh, PIN mailer um, I don't know how much it costs, but uh, it is only minimal cost so that uh, you can easily open the the uh, annual data of the uh, of the companies that you are looking for. Uh, for for example, uh, you want to look for a San Miguel Corporation data because uh, you want uh, you want to study uh, what happened to the financial performance of them uh, years back or 20 years back so you just want to know the uh, the financial performance only for the San Miguel Corporation so with that uh, you will get the uh, their financial statement or their annual data to the Securities and Exchange Commission for 20 years so they will give you that but uh, you need to pay a certain amount uh, so that uh, they will give you the pin mailer wherein uh, you can open easily the financial uh, data of the of San Miguel Corporation. So that's it for the secondary data. But how will you compute that? So with that, uh, you are going to uh, to compute or you are going to look on how you will understand the financial ratio of the company. So first thing first, the one that we are looking for is the uh, the uh, profitability of the company. So, meaning to say, uh, you want to look for the uh, if it is profitable or not, or how they will manage their profit for a certain period of time. So, when you are dealing with the financial performance, uh, 
you have at least at least minimal five years to look for the financial data of a certain company. So when it comes to profitability, profitability, uh, what you are looking for is the uh, first thing is the operating profit or uh, the operating margin ratio, the gross profit margin ratio, and the last is the the net profit ratio. So what about with the uh, net profit ratio? Here's the thing. Uh, the easiest way that you are going to do is to first see if this uh, certain business, for example, uh, um, we have a manufacturing business, more on garment. So just look, just take a look uh, if there is a uh, certain industry standard. For example, uh, at least I have 10% then uh, this garment uh, business is already profitable. They have a certain industry standard for that particular business. But if not, uh, if there is no certain industry standard, then we can use the industry standard that we have. Because uh, what, uh, uh, what we study is more on the industry, uh, in, is the basic industry standard of all the company. So that's only a basic, but if there, if there is a certain industry standard for a certain uh, business, for example, just like my example before, the garment business, then you are going to use that instead of using our basic industry standard. So on our basic industry standard, we have 15% for the profitability of the business. And this is important because uh, you have to know the, the minimum. Uh, for example, if uh, if the result is uh, having uh, at least a minimum amount of 15% ratio for the profitability, then it is good for the business. But just take a look if uh, if it is increasing, if it is neutral for the rest of five years, or if it is decreasing, for example, for the first year, they already gain a profit of 15%, but after five years, uh, it decreases up to 2%. So, just take a look what happened to this business. Why is it that uh, every time, uh, year by year, uh, uh, it decreases the income? So there is a problem with that. So uh, as a financial analyst, I mean as a business research researcher, uh, you can you can have or you can easily determine it by by means of uh, computing or. Uh, take a look on the financial performance of the company. Another thing is uh, when you are looking for the liquidity of the business. So when it comes to liquidi liquidity, it is divided into the working capital ratio and the uh, what we call as the acid test ratio. So what are the difference between the two? Acid, uh, the working capital ratio is good because uh, we are dealing with the with uh, with the current asset so what happened with the current asset uh, uh, if they are liquid uh, if they can uh, ex uh, if they can expand it into cash at a uh, less possible time or if they are not but for me if I'm going to take a look on the liquidity side then I will take a look on the acid test ratio because acid test Ratio are those accounts that are easily convertible into uh, cash. So they are, you already know that when we say acid test ratio, uh, they are composed of cash, the accounts receivable, and the marketable securities, which, which we all know that they are the one or they are the accounts that are easily convertible into cash. So, the result should be at least 1.2. So, meaning to say, uh, 1 peso means uh, you already pay the uh, the liabilities or the current liabilities. Well, the remaining 20% are the cash or the, or the, uh, or the amount uh, the, or the remaining cash that, are, that can be used for the operation of the business. So, that's the important thing with that. So just take a look with that. So what happened? Uh, if they have a certain amount of money or they have the remaining at least 20%, then they can easily provide for the operation of the business. And they 
and they can continue the business smoothly because they have money or they have money to offer and with that uh, they can borrow money to a bank by seeing the liquidity of the company okay another thing is you need to determine the stability of the company so when you say stability we are dealing with the with the non-current asset so what happened with the non-current asset against the against its liabilities what happened to non-current asset against its totality what happened to non-current asset against its profit etc etc so with that uh, meaning to say uh, you need to determine uh, if the company is stable enough to to buy or sell a certain uh, a certain um, asset if they needed it or they need to sell it because uh, they have an ample uh, an ample um, quality or an ample pieces of equipment and they didn't need it so they can sell the the, the other thing and then uh, provide a new one or etc etc so you can see that with their um with their uh, financial statement so just take a look uh, when we are dealing with the stability just always take a look on the non-current asset side so we have different uh different things to compute with that so for example fixed asset against total asset so i mean to say um uh is it enough if i have already 60 percent of total asset and then the remaining one is usually for the non-current asset is it enough if i have an extra uh, fixed asset against my liabilities or is it enough that uh, i i i buy this asset but it's more on utang or it's more on liabilities etc etc so it is you uh, who need to uh, who need to understand what happened with the following financial performance of the company so you have your computation with that uh, what you need to understand is it's important to have uh, a real asset or a non-current asset if it is usable and if it is not then you can ask the company oh uh, are, um, maybe uh, you can you need to sell it because uh, when you sell a certain thing or a certain asset then then uh, they can use it as another money for the operation of the business another thing or one of the important things uh, when you are dealing with the ratio analysis is the debt ratio so what what is the debt ratio or the leverage ratio or it can also be called as a solvency ratio it's more on utang it's more on uh, it's more on the long-term liability on how you will pay it on time for example uh, the business is already starting but uh, there is a problem with regards to uh, with regards to the continuous operation of the business because uh, you have uh, you have a, a little asset or you have no extra asset for you to operate this certain kind of um, for example quantity or bulk of this uh, order of a certain customer so your aim now is to borrow money from the bank so the problem is how you will pay it so there is a consequence uh, consequence number one do i need to borrow that amount or that huge amount and then i pay that with a certain huge amount of interest okay is it uh, am i ca capable as a businessman am i ca capable to to uh, to pay that yearly or annually or monthly and then i will earn uh, a certain pro profit for that uh, do i need to buy that or do i need to use my asset so as to provide the operation of the business so so uh, you as a researcher can answer that by seeing alone the financial statement of the company